Hey, it's Ken here with another video about how to make stuff that I have no business making. I'm only doing this because I couldn't find a video about how to make one of these things. So again, if you have a better video showing how to do something like this, I'll take mine down right away. Making this tree climber is purely for my own use and fun. And if you find this information helpful, great. Leave a comment below. Okay, so here we go. I'm aware that you can buy a tree stand like these that will do virtually the same thing that I'm attempting, but they're kind of expensive and do more than what I really need it to do. Uh, I just need to get up and down the palm tree. I don't need to go camping up there. A deeper search around the web finds other guys in generally India or South Asia fabricating some pretty nifty climbing devices but these are all out of my skill range as they involve a wider variety of materials, more welding, bending, etc. I was looking for something more simple that I could easily make with a short list of materials and tools which led me to this model. You can find drawings out there like this but mine's gonna be even more simple. So here is the entire parts list you can pause it here to count it all if you want. One big thing here to note is when cutting the tube steel, you'll have to make two angle cuts here on those 23 inch long pieces. You'll see how these get welded together a little bit later. Okay, so now for a trip down to your local metal supply yard. I bought inch and a quarter square tube steel, 16 gauge, 30 feet in length, and that gave me everything I needed with just a little bit left over. So now back home to cut it down to the lengths that you saw over on the parts list. Grind down, grinding down those ends so you don't cut yourself. You're going to need to find a welder to put those angled pieces together. I was lucky enough to have my brother-in-law do this for me. Now back in the shop to drill holes through the steel so you can bolt the whole thing together. Okay, now here I am cutting some canvas to make the sling seat. I made a paper model there you see in the back uh, just to make sure I got the measurements right first. Now sewing it all up. These are the pocket holes for the crossbars to slide through. Okay, so here are all the pieces cut, drilled, cleaned. You see I have got uh, those um, foam pipe insulation there. Uh, I used that on the first time, but I'll talk about that more later. I really should have used these. Flexible rubber connectors. Those work a lot better, so I went out and bought three more of those. Now I'm just doing a dry fit to make sure I can put it all together. 
having a look at how that seat gets assembled. Now for a little spray painting. And here's a better view of those rubber flexible couplers or pipe connectors and how they work on this thing. You just slide them on here. Okay, now this is the lower unit bolting it all together. That, uh, that's the arm that swings open so you can put this unit around the tree and then bolt it back together once it's around the tree. Here's the upper unit ready to bolt together. For the first use climbing a tree, I did use these foam pipe insulations. You know, I, I just taped them on there like you see. Uh, it did work, but after going up and down the tree a couple of times, they just got shredded. So you'll later see I just bought three more of those rubber flexible couplers or pipe connectors like I had already for the bottom unit. Those work much, much better. So. Okay, so here is both units all assembled on the tree. With uh, two side straps hooked on just in case one of those units gets away from me while climbing on the tree. That's the purpose of those straps. And now you just gotta wrench down that last bolt to secure the whole thing, or to se secure it all together there. You'll notice that I do not have the sling seat on there. On my first couple of uses, I found it, the seat that is, to get in the way, really. Uh, I couldn't get the upper unit high enough, you know, as you're lifting it around your body. And when I sat in it, surprisingly, it didn't feel as positive or confident as I do when you sit your butt back on that rear crossbar. And if you are standing and working, you, can, you want that rear crossbar 
up around your waist or higher for safety, and you can't do that when you've got the sling seat uh, there. So you can try it. You know, I might go back to it for some other use, but you know, that that's that was my experience. So, and now again, speaking of safety, I know this is not safe. I know that I should have some kind of harness that connects independently to the tree. So when you make yours, you go right ahead and do that. Okay. So how much does it weigh? The upper unit weighs 17 pounds, and the lower unit is 12 pounds. Uh, how much did it cost? Uh, okay, so here's, here's what I paid for. 30 feet of tube steel was $15. All that hardware, the nuts and bolts, was about 10 bucks. The most expensive thing by far were those rubber flexible couplers, or pipe connectors. Those were almost $6 each. So, all in all, I spent about 65 bucks for the whole finished unit. Okay. Um, well, I hope you have fun watching this, and uh, you know, if you were interested in making one of these for yourself, that's how I went about doing mine. Uh, and if you've got something to say or to, you know, a new one to build and share, then please do. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. That's enough, huh?